Okay, I'm done backing up my partition and I'm just going to go ahead and install the operating system that um, I'm going to install it first then I'll show you how to how to do what I did second. Okay, I'm going to install this to uh, SDA8. Right now I'm going to stick in the USB drive <coughs> and I don't want it to mount. Basically I'm just going to reboot. There's my old netware client for a Linux homepage that I talked about on camera but Anyway, um, let's just restart. It shouldn't take that long for this thing to shut down. And we're out of there. So, if, you know, if you need to use more than one operating system, if you have a decently... Uh, an operating system that boots up decently quick, then... You know, you're not going to see your productivity go get driven down into, into hell, <laughs> down to the wall, you know, just because you you decide you might want to do some things in a different operating system. And here it is. It is Haiku. So I'm going to install Haiku. Haiku is a remake of the B operating system. And I'll tell you, they're very... <clears throat> the people that work on this uh, operating it's, there it is. It's already booted up. It's very fast, just like BEOS was. It's got the hand like BEOS was. The only thing that looks different to me at all between what BEOS is and this is maybe the size of that little box up there, the feather, and the word haiku in the middle. Okay? Now, let's contrast this with NetBSD right now. Uh, bef well, yeah, why not? So I'm going to go here and double click on, on the welcome thing, which this is a link to um, a file that's on the system, but it's also a web browser called web positive instead of net positive as it was before. And I'm going to just click on the OS uh, drawer.net link. And um, I haven't done anything to my network card at all. I've simply booted into this system, and uh, now I am booting from an image. I don't know if the system is going to be able to, well, God, there it is. So, now compare that with NetBSD. With NetBSD, I literally spent, I, I've uploaded 25 files and I just stopped. I, I didn't even load up everything that I recorded. <laughs> it got worse after that, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, there's no point in putting something up. This is how you screw up your system. And all the, most of that time was work just so I'd have the chance to wait two days to have a, to have a graphical user interface when I boot it up. Uh, but by far, this beats the tar out of, um, this haiku beats the tar out of NetBSD. From, from a desktop perspective. Okay, <laughs> there we are. I'm on the net. It'll access web page. I haven't done anything. Of course, my router has DHCP in it, but I'm not having any, any problem using it. And we're ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Haiku. You can see how quickly X configure. There, there are times when you're using Linux and you try to install your operating system, you boot in, you don't have a graphical user interface. And it's very hard to get X to work if it doesn't work automatically. And this is working automatically. Let's go over here. Now the way VES works, or actually Haiku in this case, it's, it looks so much like it that I'm just calling it the same thing, is uh, the, men the menu bar is over here. It's got a few things already pre-installed that I've yet to check completely to see how functional they are. But right now I'm going to go to the installer, right it off of my little thumb drive there. So this is running for my thumb drive, like, you know, like those, um, Nopix discs or those, you know, live discs that they have out there. Okay. Now they're warning me that this is alpha software. I'll tell you that in the short time that I've used, uh, Haiku, and I am absolutely thrilled about Haiku right now. Um, I have had little or no... This isn't behaving like alpha software. 
you know, I, I recall the, um, the Ubuntu that I installed that, that kept resetting my network connection that I had set, set up statically, that was behaving like uh, alpha software, but this is not, okay? Now let's continue. Okay, no partitions been found. There's some installation. Please set up partitions. Now I was reading the uh, the release notes and it said that this wasn't working yet, but uh, I happen to know that I tried on another um, <laughs> another um, computer, so I know this is going to work. And um, I I know this this worked just fine. Now let's get to where I was. Um, Got three riser. Okay, so this ext2 is my Ubuntu, so that's 2.0, I guess what they're calling it. And in Linux, it's SDA8. And I remember that five is the first partition in the extended partition, SDA5, 6, 7, 8. I got translated Linux into BOS, but basically this is the last riser. Uh, set of partitions. Okay, that's the only thing it isn't very clear. There is my last one. That is my Lindu's partition. And I only have one partition here, and then I'm just going to say disk, and I'm going to initialize. I'm going to put the, the BE file system on there. Now, you will notice that um, I'm going to use the recommended block size, etc., etc. Whatever support they want to give me, I'm going to do it. I'm going to write my changes. And already my it's been formatted. So now I'm going to choose my target, and that's my old Lindos partition. And I'm going to begin my install. Now, while this is here, you can see up there there is a mounted... It shows that there is a mounted riser file system volume. And I guess you can install Haiku onto a riser partition? Is that true? I thought I, I thought I picked a, a BEOS partition. Anyway, right now it's empty. It hasn't start, started to install yet, but what I can do is there's an, when you right click on the desktop, there's an option to mount other partitions. Well, there's my Ubuntu. Did I have to, did I have to edit etc. fast file system tab to get to it? No, not at all. There it is, I can get to it, no problem. Do I have to log in as root to go into the root directory to see what I had in there or copy some files or make a backup? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, I just right click, select mount, and here is my next riser partition. I could mount and riser. So it has ext3 support, it has riser support. All very, uh, there it goes, starting to install now. It's this. Um, Riser versus Riser FS volume. I think it's uh, mislabeled for now. I mean, that's that's like a cosmetic bug. I mean, who cares <laughs> at this point? Now, the big problem with um, with Haiku is, of course, having apps to run within it. This is a beautiful environment, and I'm also going to uh, say I'll stop here, and then I'll get more into why I think it's a very good environment to develop in.